Y'all probably wonder where I've been. So, between work and school, it's been like hard. It's been like really hard to like do this the way I'm supposed to do this. And then I got the horror queen. I got I got my other TikTok. I haven't uploaded on that one in a while, but I know it will. Okay, guys. So let's do this. What am I? What am I waiting on? What am I waiting on? Let's do a general love reading for everybody. So I forgot what's over the other side. I stopped off. It's been that long. It's ridiculous. What is the blockages between you two? The blockages. Mm mm. We got some karma. We got, I open the cards. Got no closure, no contact. Left on red, left you hanging. Somebody left on red. There's no, somebody doesn't have closure. Somebody needs closure. They have enough, you know what it is? We have firestorm over here. Somebody is having a mental breakdown because they being left on red. They being left on red. The other person is not answering text messages or whatever, whatever it is. They being left on red. They having a mental break. What's the blockages connection? Somebody is just being an asshole here. You got the jackass card, like right in the middle. Somebody um, has a lot of ego. They have a lot of pride. Things have to be their way or the highway here. And somebody is turning their back on the bullshit. Somebody is turning their back. They're fed up. You got the fed up card. Ooh, who is this? Is it some? Drop in the comments. If it's somebody that you're fed up with, And they are fucked up. Oh, they are messed up. Guys, they, I can't I can't make this up. They're gonna try to sweet talk you back. Um this person could have had a lot of people. You got the Jezebel card. If I was sleeping around with a lot of folks here, guys, and you got tired of that shit, you turned your back on that shit. They wanted no strings attached. This is somebody who pretended to be a divine masculine for you. You 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 was getting readings done. On this person, this person, some of y'all are crazy exes, a psychopath, some bullshit. They, I know how they're gonna contact you too. They're gonna try to do it. They probably a lie and say they got the, somebody pregnant, just something to try to, I don't know, some bullshit with that. But listen, um, you've closed this cycle out. Some of y'all that started out as a workplace affair. You call yourself living in the moment. I'm going to stop pulling for I pull the whole debt. And that's what it was. Um, and you, if you turn your back, you've been doing a lot of meditation. You've been doing, you've been doing a lot of heat. Like you're being healed. And this person is losing their goddamn mind. Because you're being healed. I'm so proud of y'all. Like, listen. If you are moving on from an individual, congratulations, congratulations, because you've moved on. You're being healed. You're not going round and around and around in a cycle with somebody. You know, you know your word. Sweet talking is not going to work. This person is stuck in their ego. They were supposed to become spiritual. They were supposed to advance themselves, and then they didn't, and they got left in the dust. It don't make no sense. This is fucked up. That was an easy ass reading. 
but but be careful if they try to like lure you in talking about they got somebody else pregnant you could have you could have gotten pregnant by this part hopefully that's not the case but you did get pregnant by this person because why let me see how you feeling about the situation well i kind of already know not a pentacles you feeling single bitch you free from this shit hold on um since you free from this person and you got nine of you got two nines yeah, nine of swords here too. Listen, do not be stressed out and worried about you moving on. Because a lot of the times when we've been in something that's very narcissistic and controlling and we've been manipulated, we feel empty when that is over. But you but you was miserable when you was in it. So don't worry about feeling alone and feeling lonely. And don't worry about jumping into something else. But let's see if somebody new is coming. Spirit, somebody new coming. Give us a description. Death card reverse. Queen of Pentacles. Give us a description of this person. I, when you meet this person, feeling tired they gonna be trying to escape from something you got the eight of swords in the reverse and you also have the death card there's something that this person is going to be trying to escape they are a generous person here you got the queen of pentacles this person you know they got a little bit of bread you know they like to give they givers um got the magician reverse they they may be feeling kind of like frustrated something that they spirit what what do they need to be free from this person coming what do they need to be free from what's the conflict about what's conflict about Maybe something involving work. Yeah. Page of Pentacles, they might be in school or they might be working on themselves. We have um, Eight of Wands in the reverse. We have Strength card in the reverse. And then we have this um, Five of Wands in the reverse too. So it seemed like to me, I was they just trying to like better themselves, something that they're trying to manifest. Um, now the solution would be because that death card in the reverse is for them to also whoever this new person coming in they have to grow spiritually too because that's what the death card is about it, it's about death and then rebirth and it's normally spiritual transformation you can't really work anything it's hard to produce results in the physical world if you're not a transformed person you yeah. know just something to think about so this is the gift this year hope you guys enjoyed this reading and i hope that you know you were able to move on from whatever narcissistic asshole that you were dealing with it's narc